The Chicago Bears have hired Tyke Tolbert to be their next wide receivers coach and passing game coordinator. What's going on, guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears all season update video. There's going to be a lot of these in the coming days, talking about every single member of the Bears staff that uh, Matt Eberflus hires. But in today's video, I'll be talking about the wide receivers and passing game coordinator that the Bears hired a few days ago, actually. It was my birthday yesterday, so I couldn't make any content the last two days. Apologies for that. But Today I'll be telling you guys a little bit more about Tyke Tolbert, his experiences, who he's coached, who he's worked with, and what people have to say about this coach that we are now hiring to be on our offensive staff. And the reviews, guys, are pretty good, okay? According to the coaches he's worked with, according to the players he's developed, he's been one of the more underrated coaches in the NFL, and he's well-experienced as well, which I feel like is pretty important, guys, okay? If you look at all the coaches that Matt Eberflus, that Luke Getzey is adding you know, to their offensive staff, they're adding mostly well-experienced coaches in this staff, okay, guys that have 15, 20 plus years coaching in the NFL, and I think that's pretty important because you gain a lot of experience, you gain a lot of wisdom coaching in this league for a long time. If you looked at Matt Nagy's offensive staffs over the years, the last four years, they were mainly full of inexperienced people, okay, aside from maybe a few guys like Juan Castillo had experience and maybe a few others, but the wide receivers coach, Mike Furry, had you know, very little NFL experience. The offensive coordinator at first, Mark Helfrich, had very little NFL experience. In fact, he had no NFL experience before being hired by Matt Nagy to help run this offense, right? So getting more experienced guys into this coaching staff that can teach these players the proper way they want them to play football, to play in the system, that's going to be beneficial to the entire Bears offense and also to the Bears football team. So looking at Tyke Tolbert and his resume, I'll gloss over that pretty fast. Like I mentioned, he's been coaching football for a really long time. Okay, started out coaching at LSU in 1994, grad assistant, moved on to Louisiana Monroe, 1994, another grad assistant role. Then he got promoted to wide receivers coach at Ohio in 1995, went to Louisiana Monroe, uh, back there to be the tight ends coach, going to Auburn after that, tight ends coach, Louisiana Lafayette, wide receivers coach, Florida tight ends coach, 2002. And then he finally got his first job with the NFL in 2003, with the Arizona Cardinals as the wide receiver coach there, okay, where he coached a legendary receiver known as Anquan Bolden. After that, he was wide receiver's coach for a variety of different teams, okay, Buffalo Bills 2004 to 2009 had some nice successes there, Carolina Panthers 2010, Denver Broncos 2011 to 2017, where he coached guys like Demarius Thomas, okay, some of the best receivers in the league at that time, uh, then going to the New York Giants in 2018 to 2021 to be there, wide receivers coach, coaching guys like Odell, you know, Sterling Shepard, uh, Darius Slayton. The last year obviously wasn't so good. The Giants receivers were injured practically the entire year. But before 2021, they had some success there in the receiver department. And then now he's going to be the Chicago Bears receiver coach and the passing game coordinator as well, which I feel like is pretty important. He's getting a slight promotion in this role. He's never been more than a receivers coach really in his life and now he's going to be helping develop the passing concepts for the Bears passing offense for Justin Fields and fitting that into Luke Getze's offensive scheme. Now if you look at some of the better receivers Tyke Tolbert has coached up during his career there's a lot of successes okay if you look at like I mentioned Anquan Bolden his rookie year in 2003 he helped Anquan Bolden explode for almost 1,400 yards and eight touchdowns okay had a fantastic fantastic rookie year under his coaching after that he went to the Bills where he helped you know, develop guys like Lee Evans, Steve Johnson. He also coached Terrell Owens in, I believe, 2004. Coached Steve Smith in 2010 with the Carolina Panthers. And then obviously he went to the Denver Broncos after that, where he coached guys like Demarius Thomas, Eric Decker, Emmanuel Sanders. He had some of the best offenses in the NFL during that stretch, especially when Peyton Manning came over. And, you know, Tyke Tober was a big part in developing those receivers for Peyton Manning to you know, incorporate into this offense. So he helped win a Super Bowl there with the Denver Broncos in 2015. And then after that, he went to the New York Giants in 2018, where he helped develop guys like Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard, uh, Odell back in 2018 before he got traded. And I know in 2021, the Giants receiving core wasn't good at all, but injuries were a big factor into that, guys. Like pretty much all the receivers were hurt for a significant portion of the 2021 season. And they also had, you know, Daniel Jones, Mike Lennon, and... Uh, who else? Uh, Jake Fromm at quarterback, which is obviously going to limit your success as a receiver. So 
2021 aside, guys, you know, he's had fantastic years coaching in this league, and a lot of people in the NFL have a lot of good things to say about this coach. Some people think he's the best wide receivers coach in the NFL and a future head coach as well. In fact, he interviewed for the Vikings offensive coordinator role last year, but he lost out to Clint Kubiak, which that makes sense. Look at Clint Kubiak going to Minnesota. So that was kind of a hard job to get for him, but clearly teams in this league view him as a potential offensive coordinator, maybe as a potential head coach down the road. So getting a guy like this on our staff right now to help our receivers, to help Justin Fields and the passing attack, I think that's a really good add for the Bears coaching staff. The fact that the Bears have been able to get these well-experienced, well-versed coaches from around the NFL really speaks volumes about how people in this league view offensive coordinator Luke Getze and also Justin Fields, okay? Because you're not going to want to go to a place where the quarterback is bad. So clearly, coaches in the NFL, they view Justin Fields as a quarterback with a lot of potential, okay? Maybe to someday be a great quarterback, an elite quarterback in this league. They also view Luke Getze as being an offensive mind on the rise, okay, if they want to be a part of his staff to coach this offense. So all in all, guys, I think this is a very good hire, okay? We're getting one of the better receiver coaches in the NFL, a guy with experience, a guy with a lot of successes, and our receivers need that coaching, okay? I think that Darnell Mooney is probably the only receiver actually staying for next year besides, you know, also um, Daz Newsome, okay, the rookie from last year. Those two are probably the only ones guaranteed to stay. Aside from them, the entire receiving department could be completely overhauled and we needed a good coach to coach up these guys to their full potential because we know that Mike Furry definitely did not do that the last four years. So let me know your thoughts about this hire down below in the comment section. But as always, guys, bear down.